different, but it's very pretty out here. Uh, I believe they're setting up the fly now. What's up, everyone? XRP bags back in the building, back with another video. How's everyone doing? XRP, the best digital asset, the fastest, most secure, most scalable, most cost efficient, eco friendly, send money anywhere in the world instantly. Looks like we got some more news, regulation, Binance, the largest crypto to crypto exchange by volume has announced that it will stop serving us individual and corporate customers on its main platform binance.com the updated statement in binance terms of use reads that the company is unable to provide services to any us person users who are not in accordance with binance's terms of service by september 12th will continue to have access to their wallets and funds will no longer be able to trade or deposit on binance.com in any given month approximately 15% uh, of binance's.com's traffic comes from the US customers having half since early 2018 when the figure was approximately 30% that currently offers trading of more than 150 different cryptocurrencies non-verified US customers will likely still be able to bypass the restrictions and trade on binance's.com by using a VPN, Binance currently allows withdrawals of up to 2 BTC without any verification, although the updated policy suggests that some users may be required to furnish evidence showing that their, uh, their account registrations are consistent with Binance's terms of use. Those who violate its terms of use, it added, will not be able to use its platform. Binance users will also look for comfort in the announcement yesterday that the company is launching a separate fiat to crypto uh, exchange to serve the u.s market in full regulatory compliance uh, ceo of binance cz offered an optimistic outlook on this disruption on twitter some short-term pains may be necessary for long-term gains and we always look hard to turn every short-term pain into a long-term gain the news comes two weeks after a main client of Binance, DEX, also announced it would start geo-blocking U.S. customers and 28 other countries in July. Uh, Bittrex announced last week that it would be geofencing 32 cryptocurrencies from the U.S. clients following the same move by Polonex a couple weeks ago. Binance follows Bit, uh, Bitfinex and BitMEX, which both start uh, started blocking U.S. customers in late 2017 as a result of challenging regulatory climate. Huabi team, uh, Huabi then started licensing licensing its technology and brand to the U.S.-based company HBUS, later uh, rebranded to Huabi. Similar to Binance's current plans for the U.S., having partnered with BAM Trading Services Inc., an unknown money service business listed in San Francisco. While Binance traditionally offers crypto to crypto trading, it has already launched its fiat crypto exchange in Uganda, Singapore, and Jersey, all of which only support trading of Bitcoin, Ether, and BNB. Plans to have two fiat crypto exchanges on every continent, which will likely also support trading of Bitcoin and Ether and Ether initially. So it looks like we got some more regulation coming down june and july something's going on guys um this is a big exchange to be stop offering its services to the u.s um and being forced to open up a u.s based exchange with regulatory compliance so it looks like the regulators are starting to crack down on what's going on so if you have anything on here and you're a u.s seems like you need to get your stuff off of there um and I would suggest using BitTrue, especially if you use XRP, because they have uh, every coin, most of the coins that you could want to buy through XRP, you could just transfer your XRP. Um, they also offer different things for you to get free XRP daily. They got the raffle ticket and they got the power piggy to hold and earn interest. 
I'm not a financial advisor, so make sure you guys do your research before holding any cryptos on any exchanges. The safest way is to hold it offline on your ledger. But more importantly, US customers to be blocked from trading on Binance. Um, this is either has to do with the regulatory compliances or the trading bonds and the stuff going on with Trump and China. But I think it's mostly regu regulation coming down. Things are starting to kick up. The regulators are starting to lay that law down. There's a new uh, Ripple Insight article I wanted to go over with you guys really quick. And then I'll go ahead and get out of here. The Association of Southeastern Asia Nations continue to make its case as one of the most world's most exciting testing grounds of blockchain, cross-border payments, and digital assets. Ripple has been part of much of its pioneering work with partners like SBI Remit, CIMB Group, CM Commercial Bank, Mitsubishi Co Corporation, and Standard Charter, the Japanese Bank Consortium, and many others. This high level of uh, experimentation is driven by the perfect combination of needed of need and opportunity. The region feature large, connected uh, populations across countries, yet one of the globe's most expensive remittance networks. In response, both fintechs and incumbents have demonstrated a willingness to innovate in pursuit of a solution. XRP, baby. And they have been supported by regulators that have established a solid framework for the use of blockchain and digital assets. Amidst this frenzy of activity and advancement, it is easy to forget the human stories that sit at the center of this change. Individuals striking out in pursuit of better lives often suffer because of outdated financial services. Suri Wit is one of the 45 thousand workers born in Thailand that are living abroad in Japan. He moved to Hiroshima, Japan, where he holds down three jobs as a translator for cooperative agencies as a factory translator and as a Japanese tutor in a language school. He's appreciative of, of the support and head start of his mother gave him in life, so he sends home a portion of his earnings to, his, uh, to her every month. She uses that money for the family living expenses in Thailand. He's been frustrated by the high foreign exchange rate between Japanese yen and the Thai bot. For Thai workers sending money home, a single payment transfer can require multiple trips to a bank to complete and up to 12 hours of extra work just to afford the transfer fee. He also wishes he could get the money to his mother faster rather than waiting the standard number of days for transfer why not just use xrp and get it there instantly minimal fee sura chain also moved from thailand to japan to, for work she spends her days hard at work in the fields because her family back in thailand relies on her income to help with living expenses it is a difficult life and she's frustrated that the remittance process is not easier in particular she does not like having to carry multiple remittance cards for fear of using the wrong one. She also wishes that the services were faster and lower cost. These are people whose life star, uh, stories motivate our teams at Ripple in concert with the local financial service providers all over the world. We are making hard to transform the remittance experience on behalf of Sir Witt and Sir Suturing and the millions of others that live and work abroad. Ripple's blockchain technology has already been a big part of improving the Thailand Japanese remittance corridors with Ripple payment flows between SBI Remit and CM Commercial Bank have become faster, more transparent and affordable for workers like Sirwit and Suturing. In particular, appreciates that cheaper, faster, and uh, remittance process puts more money in the pockets of her family in Thailand and is excited to see the services expand to include more banks in the future. In the coming year, Ripple resol uh, resolves to work closely with our partners and RippleNet customers around the world to deliver even faster, paced, changed, and more meaningful innovation for customers 
in the ASEAN region and beyond. So big news guys, XRP making changes, changing people's lives across the world. Being able to send money to your family members and not having to go through this two to three day process and uh, having them have to wait to, to receive that money. And then they have to work an extra 12 hours just to send that money. XRP is going to be a game changer, guys. Everyone's going to start using it. Now, why would you use those other people's services when you can send XRP in nearly instant speeds? And it just doesn't make sense. Everyone's going to jump on board. XRP is leading the way of low cost, efficient uh, global payments and money transfers. XRP, baby, changing the way, leading the way. Well, that's all I have for today. I hope everyone has a good one. Read between the lines. Regulation is coming. Cryptocurrency is the future. The revolution is upon us. Keep holding those bags. Keep stuffing those bags. I'm not a financial advisor, but you guys already know. XRP is the best, the fastest, most secure, most scalable, most cost efficient cryptocurrency digital asset the best ever created i'm out of here everyone have a good one